So let's Paladin heal some dragon hunts. This time we got an ancient green dragon. We'll just throw on some hard modifiers. And here's our hunt target. For buffs we're just going with the Quartz Storm from Wildstorm Elixir. Squash Soup, some potency and you can see the stats I'm running with here now. Mainly focusing on outgoing healing and power and crits just kind of a meh afterthought. My build is nowhere near optimized just yet. Still running with tanking insignias. Well, let's make sure nobody dies. We'll give our tank a nice shield there and our allies just here as well. I like to generally run with Divine Touch as my, my main heal power. Since everybody's so spread out, Divine Shelter can work, but I feel it's better to just heal those who actually need healing rather than just preemptively healing everybody beforehand. So you can go around and give them all shield like I will now with the tank as I know she will take some. Oh wow, my tab went away. Okay, that's frustrating. There we go, we'll give her a shield now and give everybody else a shield. Wow, okay, just dodge out of my shield, why don't you? That's one frustrating thing with Divine Touch, as it is targeted and you kind of want to only have one person in it, and if they dodge, well, they dodge and don't get the heal, and you end up wasting Divinity. And we need to cast our encounter powers to regenerate that Divinity back. I could go and attack the boss, but realistically there's no need, as I'm not really using anything that I can benefit from to attack the boss other than maybe do an incy wincy bit more damage now we will use our artifacts here i have no idea if it's a good time i should have used them from the very beginning but it seems the wizard is also going to use his so why not go with that make sure that they always have a shield and that's kind of the benefit as a paladin healer you can heal before they take the damage by giving them shields the problem though is we don't have a lot of divinity and our heals otherwise are not the best and so you kind of want to be actually making use of the heal and the shield when needed so you want to wait till they take a bit of damage and then heal them up along with giving them shield and that's usually the most efficient method to go with oh wow you ran away too far and now my tab's gone why did my tab go away? It's not like you died or anything. But we'll give you my tab again. I could have used a free cast with Prayer of Opportunity. That's this feat just here. But no, because the tab fell off. Now that's in phase. No casualties so far. Looking good. Let's keep up with them and go to these ads. They can pack a punch. So let's be aware of that. Make sure our tank has a shield. And we could give this guy a shield as well, but they're all stacked up, so they end up with a tiny shield. Our divinity's nice and full, so no need to worry about that. We may as well heal our dedicated squire a bit, because why not? It just helps compensate a bit with the lack of healing over time altogether on the paladin. So dedicated squire helps out a little, but realistically not much for DPS when they're not close enough. You'll, you can see that when he heals here. I give him a shield. We get pushed a little bit. You may notice I use my shield an awful lot here. And that's because I don't like being pushed around. You gain that immunity by shielding. So that's what you can do to easily mitigate any of the dragon's pushes, stuns. There are one or two stuns, specifically the tail slap that will stun you or daze you so you can't use any powers so don't generally stay behind him otherwise he has a lot of dots as well especially this green one you will note your party members take a lot more damage because of the amount of dots he has and just the amount of areas he puts on the ground but he does lack the tank buster which is the bite attack so he is one of the more friendly dragons to be able to heal have to heal especially for the tank having to tank him just don't underestimate his damage though as that can be pretty nasty well watch out tanks taking all the damage he's breathing on him but the overall that's how i paladin heal just with divine touch we'll just keep this um we'll just pop a heal on these guys they like to stay together okay we we'll just use our artifacts, but why not? 
I'm not going in time with it at all. I should be using it every time. When oh, they all got pushed. There. Let's try and heal that guy. Okay, he healed up for the potion. May as well top up the tank. And let's keep up with them. You will note that this group is not one of the best groups. You can see we're still taking quite a long amount of time. I wouldn't say they're the worst either. You could definitely find worse in queuing publicly randoms. But they don't have like the highest damage. So it does take a bit more taxing on the healer. Since then you'll have to heal a lot more. Managing that divinity rather than just spamming it all the time. We move to the final phase and this will be the most taxing on me. I have to make sure I time my heals and make sure I don't run out of divinity. I'm going to go cast our artifacts now. Block that to push. And pop a heal on this guy. We got pushed so that's annoying. And we need to keep an eye out on our three heals. And now we cast those divine touches. Cast from you. Use our encounters again. You can see divinity is really not a problem if you're not spamming it. Especially with a recharge speed build, you get back those encounters nice and quickly. We got our free cast now, but no point in using that. Now we may as well use it. And we'll try and get this guy healed. Ah, we may as well use the daily there. That's generally what I would use my daily on just that emergency heal button because otherwise our daily is pretty garbage yeah unlike a cleric which i'm pretty jealous of they have one heck of a good heal power anyway let's use our artifacts again all this damage coming down heal this guy and it's nice just all about getting that aim down uh they are well, they're further away than i can see okay they're over there heal you this is what i hate about having to cast that power is you can very easily miss okay that guy died that's no good how did you die you got pushed i'll go pick him up okay no he scrolled i really don't like how the hp bars can get warped and pushed around by the boss let's move give you a shield really the tab fell off again that's just frustrating. I'll we'll give you a heal, you a heal, and you a heal. Give you another one, and now we can give you a tap. Where, where, why my tab's gone? I guess green has some sort of ability to get rid of the tab. That would make sense. Okay, we'll give you a heal now. There's the shield and my tab. We'll just shield both of you guys a little bit. Give you a bigger one. Looking okay, we'll use our artifacts now. You're standing in there, okay, why not? Get a bit more damage output, huh? I'll heal you through it, because I can. Let's give you a heal, and you, and you're done. That's very good. That's the green dragon complete, with only one death. I'm not quite sure how the guy died, I would have to watch it back. But overall, not too bad if I do say so myself. Green is definitely one of the easier dragons to heal, so I wouldn't say it would be too hard to do so. Overall, hopefully this was somewhat insightful to you guys as to how to paladin heal the green dragon. I'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.